Hello everyone, welcome to a new LP today. Today we're going to be looking at Lost Ember. So this is going to be a full LP, this is going to be replacing Outer Worlds as I just didn't feel like that was working out, to be completely honest, I wasn't enjoying it that much. So I saw this game and I thought I would give this one a shot. It's like a puzzle adventure game where you take on the form of uh, different animals and such. So let's go ahead and hop in. Uh, yeah, we can ignore that one because that was me just testing uh, graphic settings and everything. But yeah, the game looks pretty interesting. Um, I've, I've seen various things about it. I had my eye on it for a bit. And uh, I don't know. I, I kind of just want something something chill to play right now. It seems like it might be, well, no, not not that similar to Superland, but just that kind of atmospheric uh, walking simulator adventure game that I might enjoy. Prologue Companionship. The water will lead us, the fire will free us, and the light will guide us home. That's your way into the City of Light. After you close your eyes for the very last time, you will rise into the light like a spark from a fire. All will be welcomed who follow the Yanren ways faithfully. The others, they are thrown back into this world as wild beasts. Lost embers. Hey, come back here. Kalani! Hmm. Seems like they're referring to reincarnation there. If you're not faithful, you'll be reincarnated as an animal rather than getting to go to their version of heaven, I suppose. At least that's my interpretation of it so far. But yeah, looking at videos and pictures of this game, it is quite gorgeous. The art style is just so vibrant and beautiful. Me. Would you maybe help me with... Oh, oh hey you. I, I, I just need someone to... <sighs> is there no one here that understands me? Maybe the wolfie understands you. Oh, good morning. Uh, would, would you mind helping me with something? I promise it takes just a minute. All right, here we are. I am playing this with controller, I should point out. Uh, hello, please get into my oh, view. Thank you. Jeez, running away from me. It's in a cave just a bit downhill from here. Go ahead, I'll follow you. Ooh, I can sprint. Yes, let's I've been do that. Stuck here for ages. You're the first one that's willing to help. Would you believe that? Well, maybe they don't understand you, man. I'm supposed to be in the City of Light. Have you heard of that? It's where all the true Yanrin spirits are supposed to go after... ...after their death. But I've been trapped here by this barrier for so long. I don't know why. I think there's something left for me to do here. I'm yeah. pretty sure that amulet has something to do with that. Wow. Yeah, no, this game is pretty gorgeous, I gotta say. I really, really appreciate the art in this game. It's just so glowy and pretty. I don't know how else to explain it, really. I, I almost want to explore to see if I find the hidden things, but I really feel like this is going to be a pretty linear experience, possibly, or at, le at least until we get to some sort of open world, as this is obviously just a uh, like little tutorial area, so it, it might be more linear than the rest of the game is. The game runs pretty well so far, too, which I'm happy about. I mean, hell, this runs better than the Outer Worlds, and it's much prettier. <laughs> Ooh. And some purple stuff. I, I, don't, I don't know what I would... I was thinking almost these were a type of, like, real plant, but no, I don't... I can't think of anything that just has straight-up purple leaves like that. Ooh. 
find ourselves in a little cave. A sneaky, sneaky cave. My uh, little sprite friend not going to talk to him anymore. He talked about an amulet and how he's not able to get in heaven because he has something left to do here. And now he's recruiting help from like a random wolf or wild dog. I'm just going to go ahead and assume it's a wolf. I mean, I think wild dogs usually run in packs, as do wolves. So, I don't know, maybe this is neither. Here. What? That's it. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, well, what's over here? Nothing. A dead end. That's what it is. Oh, well, I checked. Why not? Alright, what do you got for me? A scaly man? D do you see the amulet? Can you get it out? No, man, no thumbs. Oh, thank you. Let me see. I haven't read the Yanran script in ages. What does it say? Kalani? No, that, that wasn't my name. Maybe this isn't my body after all. Well, I, I do remember that name. What? It, it's you. The amulet. That's Kalani. Wolf, are you? It's time you reach the light you long for. This lost ember needs your help. Let this aid you on your way. Wolf, w was was that you? Were were you Kalani in in a former life? But that has to mean you were banned from the City of Light. You're the lost Ember. Maybe I can help you reach the City of Light if you'd help me. A true Yanran spirit and a lost Ember, side by side. Yeah, so I, I was thinking, yeah, I'm I'm probably uh, this Kalani character. Found an a relic, s one out of 77, excuse me. A traditional Yandran name, Amulet. Children used to get their first amulet. Get their first amulets in an initiation ritual to welcome them as full members of the Yanrana society. This particular amulet looks pretty worn out. Symbol of its owner is hardly recognizable. Neat. Anything else around here? Any more relics for me to find? I'm kind of intimidated by that number. 77? Usually when I play an adventure game or something that has, like, uh, collectibles strewn about the environment, it's a whopping 20 or 30, not a 77. This game may be longer than I thought, but, I mean, hey, if it keeps up this aesthetic in spades, I'm down for it. Are you coming, friend? I just remember bits and pieces, but I'm sure together we can figure out the way. Ah. Yeah, I, I howled to call my friend. I, don't, I wasn't sure how I was going to call them. I thought maybe he'd just go, like, bark or something. But no, nah, he, he's, he's like, you know what? A howl. That's what we need. A good old throaty howl. We have to get you across if we're going to get anywhere together. Let me see if I can find some way to help you. Let's just do a Midna jump. You just show me where to jump and I, I jump. Oh, they're so adorable. Oh my gosh. Look at them. I didn't find anything but these two. Wolf, your mark. Look. All is glowing. Can I take them over? Yeah. Possess them. What's happening? Wolf? Oops. <laughs> that 
did you do that? Oh my gosh. I'm the adorable thing. Look at me. Ah, I'm so You're cute. You're a soul wanderer. I'm a fucking adorable is what I am. Look at me. What you just did. That's soul wandering. You sh yeah. Yanran legend spoke of those who had one foot in the light and one foot here on earth. Maybe you weren't meant to be turned back from the city of light. Hey, friend. We'll have to find out more about you. Hi. Come on, then. Hi, right, we need to do butt sniffs to get to know each other. Oh, wow, I have my whole nose in there. Might be a bit much, actually. Mushroom? Ooh, mushroom. Oh. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, well, now I'm this one. Press the wrong button. I found a mushroom. Oh, okay. There's... There's, uh... There's gonna be a few collectibles in this game, huh? Is that, is that all that's around here? Is that is that where Sam uh, Porter Bridges peed? Is that why there's a mushroom there? Someone take a piss there? Hey man, I don't know. Been watching a lot of Death Stranding recently, and that's a weird game, but it's enjoyable. Silly little things. Try and hit left, down, right from time to time. Some animals have completely pointless little things they can do, like eating berries, lying down, or diving for food. Whoa, why? That's that's awesome. Okay, left. Down has them. Oh, oh my goodness. This game, this game's gonna give me a munch. You munch on those berries as they vacuum into your mouth. Your little, your little vacuum. Look at you. I have a feeling like this isn't going to be completely pointless of a thing to do at times. Like it might be used in a puzzle solution at some point. Or maybe it is just absolutely pointless and I'm stupid. No, hey. Hey, no, hey, hey, back off, that's all mine. No. I was here first. Give them all to me. Uh-uh. I gotta make this, uh, whatever this is. It looks like a baby bear. I gotta make it strong so it can grow up. And defend itself. So sorry, I had to steal all of your berries. I hope you don't mind. We're like, I don't know. Wait, are they following me? Do I have a crew of adorable bear things? Okay, no, they're not they're not following me. I thought they were for a second, but it doesn't appear to be the case. Oh well, let's run off this way. Hello? Whoop. Anything up here? Any more berries for me to munch? I need to grow big and strong. Would appreciate more berries. Ooh, that title card. Also, this environment? Wow. Oh. I can return to my wolf form at any time. The barrier that's keeping me here. I haven't been able to leave this place for ages. Maybe you can find a way through. Oh, this environment is so gorgeous. Look at this. I want to explore that tree. I want to go up there to whatever that castle is. There's mountains. Wow, this game is beautiful. Huh. Oh, that is a mushroom. Oh, cool. I can't examine those as this. I was kind of worried I was going to have to be that specific animal to interact with the mushrooms, but no. Luckily, they didn't do that. Okay, so we do have a jump. It's A, but it's not a very big jump, in all honesty. Hmm. So I wonder how empty the world is, or how filled up it's going to be, but regardless, it, it looks amazing, and it'll be fun just to... Wait, did that just kill me? Oh no, I broke my little doggy legs. Okay, so don't, don't jump from that high, got it. Got some flowers. Yeah, okay. So don't 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 jump from that high. Good to know. Good to know. Well, what do we have over here in this wide expanse? Call companion. Do you see that? Is that a fire? Let let's check it out. I don't know, it looks kinda like a flare to me, but I, I don't think people in this world have flares, so I don't think that's it, but I do I do want to go check out this big tree that I could see from the very beginning. It was like a waypoint. It's being like, hey, come up here. Yeah, what is it? What we got? Uh, Hunter's Firestone. It's another relic. 
Yeah, of course they would put something at the giant landmark of this area. I don't see anything else that way. I'm definitely not going to be getting every collectible, but I, I will try and explore as much as I can. Because, I mean, look at this. Like, you want to explore. Oop, there's something else hiding over there. I see the little beam for it. Uh, oh no, I slid down the cliff. No, we're, we're going back up. There might be something up there. What if the best sword in the game is up there? Or what if there's an ether that I'll never use? The possibilities are endless. Okay. Well, let's, let's ignore that for a second. For a hot minute. What do we got over here? I saw it. Yeah, there you are. Give me that relic. A broken hammer. Oh yeah, we should check these out. On a long journey to find food, hunters would always carry a flintstone with them in order to be able to make camp and make a... Oh wait, to be able to camp and make a fire to prepare food. This is what happens when strong men use weak tools, I guess. I see. You dummies, you broke your hammer. Now what are you going to do? What is that? I, th I think we're seeing the past. Wolf, are you doing this? Ye yes, do you see the amulets? They're clearly Yanrana. Our people. Children of the Emperor. Where do you think they were going? Uh-oh. Oh no. Bandits. Wait. That that's Kalani. Wolf, that that's her. I mean I mean you again. Hmm. Guess we're finding out why I didn't get into the City of Light. So you were a bandit? I suppose that this has to have something to do with why you're not in the City of Light. If we can find out more about you, I'm sure I can help you out of here. What? What? Oh, okay, I thought that was a giant monster. Was that the memory? Wolf, do you think that means I can leave? Come on, let's try it. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> you did it. Whoa, that was a cool effect. Oh, that is I'm so free. neat. Oh, that was cool. Wolf, I'm free. That was really, really neat. Now Just being I can able show to... you the way to the City of Light. Okay. Come on. That was a super cool effect of breaking through it like it was glass. I like that a lot. And it, I mean, it, it did really well. The game held up and everything. Huh. Yeah, this is really good so far. I'm usually not one for, like, walking simulators or anything like that. But we have, like, this little companion here. I mean, and I don't, I don't even really know if I would call this a walking simulator. I mean, we do have puzzles to solve, it seems. Um, so probably more of an adventure game, I guess. And we, we clearly get access to different abilities when we uh, control the different animals. So I'm sure that's going to become a part of traversal or... Possibly even combat at some point. I, I, I'm not totally sure about combat. I wouldn't be surprised if there wasn't any. But uh, environmental puzzles and stuff, sure. So, yeah, this is extremely neat so far. Wait, what? Oh, I can focus to see where creatures are. Okay. Then I can take them over. Oh, are you guys scared of me? I'm so sorry. Look, see, I'm you now. Wait, hold A and roll? Oh, what? Oh no. I've, I've reached even higher adorable levels. Look at this. I can just roll around. Ah. Like a little, uh... Whoop. No, whoop. I, I would like to turn around, please. Can, can we, uh, can we mosey out of here, actually? Thank you. Oh, the roll is so adorable. I'm like a panda. Alright, what's... What's over here? Anything hiding back here? 
any relics. Just wanted to make sure, you know. Trying to maybe go for 100% completion here. Uh, that is an invisible wall. So, nope, there's nothing over there. Alrighty, let's roll into the mushroom. Oh, no, get out of the way, rock. Let's roll into the mushroom kit. I said let's roll into the mushroom kit. There we go. Okay, ro rolling up doesn't doesn't work. I guess I'm just supposed to run through this. I, I was thinking I had to roll through it, like maybe it was a tight fit otherwise, but no, that doesn't seem to be the case. Hello. I like the, uh, like, traversing the environment with the caves and stuff. There's just, ooh. An odd, it's a Pokeball! Odd ball. An odd looking ball. Have you seen anything like this before? Never in my life. Never have I ever seen a Pokeball <clears throat> in my, like, 25 years of playing Pokemon. Yeah, this is, so those might be references to other things as well and little Easter eggs. So they're just neat little things to collect. I, I mean, I'm sure we don't like get increased stats or any new ability or anything from collecting those. They're just a fun little thing to collect and possibly uh, build some lore about the world. I'm not as intimidated by that 77 that they gave now because um, it seems like they're pretty frequent. So, we should get to 77 relatively quickly. It's probably about a 10-hour game if I had to give it a mark. So yeah. It won't it won't be very a very, very long adventure, but it seems like it's going to be a fun one so far. Mm. I'm looking forward to some new environments that we'll uh, get to traverse at some point. Because I'm I'm really looking forward to what this art style and this aesthetic can do. Give me a snowy area. I love snowy ice areas in games. Please. Whoa, that looks so cool. It's a tree growing out on like a... What, what would I call that? Like a cliff? A land? No, not a land bridge. There's a word for it. It's like a precipice. It's like where the... Um, where the dirt kind of goes up and makes itself like a little platform. I, I can't remember the name of it. I'll just I'll just keep calling it dumb things, and other people will realize that are other smarter people will realize the word, and I'll just sit here looking like an idiot. Excuse me. Oh, oh, okay. I was like, wait, what is that noise? I thought it was like an elephant That's the or something. Again. Where are they going? Hey, what you what are you people up to? Huh? You care? Oh, you carrying off the spoils? I guess. Yeah, look at this tree growing out of, like, the side of a cliff. That's always super neat to me, where the tree grows and it's like, oh shit, ran out of dirt. Whoa. Oh, cool, so these, like, little fern things, I guess they can grow into trees like that at some point? Also, why am I, why am I still on that form? I can switch to this one. I mean, it is adorable, but this one's faster, so... Anything at the tree? It's a big landmark, so I was kind of assuming there would be. Alright, alright, okay. I'll just uh, go on my merry way then. Wow, you can really pick up speed with the wolf. Like going downhill or something? Or just holding the button down for a long period of time, I suppose. You can really build up some uh, mock speeds. What are they doing? They just dump it in the river. Oh my gosh. We're playing an untitled goose game. Oh yeah. Tap to flap. Whoa, I can actually fly? Oh yeah, well, we're technically untitled duck game, I guess. The sequel, if you would. How do we be a jerk? That one looks more like a goose. Oh, looks like the goose from Goose Game. Hi. Wanna make out? Tap beaks. Tap. Yeah. Yeah. So lewd. This playthrough is so lewd. I just made out with a fellow duck. Honk, honk, honk. Okay, so yeah, we're just supposed to fly down there, I suppose. I'm just looking to make sure there's no collectibles I can possibly fly to and grab. Doesn't look like it. 
Unless there's some over there. So you have to press A to keep flapping, but you can uh, just, like, let go of it to glide. Good thing to know. Anything at the bottom of the waterfall? No. Alright. Well, it was worth checking. That's for sure. Sploosh. Hello? Anybody here? Any fellow ducks looking to do duck things? Ooh. Must have been loading a new area right there. Uh, there's two paths now. Which one is progress and which one is not? The constant issue I- Oh! Uh, no! Don't go down there. That is a- That is a steep drop. Okay, never mind. That That is a no turning back point. Probably. I don't think my duck can fly that high. But wait, here's another break in the path? Yeah. Huh. Oh, okay, this is where- uh, this is where the relic was hiding out. I found you. An arrow. While the Yenrin hunters preferred to hunt with their spears, they sometimes use bow and arrow for ducks, for example. Oh, that's rude. Make me pick up the arrow while I'm playing as the duck. It's like, oh yeah, this is what they use to murder you. Is it, isn't that exciting? Oh yeah, so exciting. I love finding the instrument of my murder. Wow, this is a... Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying this so far. I, I just needed something to replace um, Outer Worlds if I wasn't going to continue it. Uh, I just felt like that was a better game for me to play on my own, basically. And uh, this is something I found sort of short notice, and I like it a lot. Whoa. Oh, man, look at that house somebody lives in in a fairy tale. I want to live there. I want to wake up every morning, talk to the animals, and... Just sit on my porch and eat tea. I don't think I missed anything back this way, did I? I mean, there was that giant cliff I could jump off of. Maybe we investigate that a bit. I, I might just be uh, getting into the whole uh, exploring the environment as much as I can thing a little bit too much. Okay, so this just leads back out to here. Good to know. Wow, these environments are so big and beautiful. It almost gives me like... I don't know, like a Breath of the Wild feeling where I'm like, ooh, look at all these places I can explore and go. Or Death Stranding, I suppose. That also gives that feeling. Oh, look at all their little animals interacting. <gasps> Ducklings. Oh, I can take them over. Oh, look at me. Look at me go. Oh, I'm so cute. I'm so adorable. Look at the little feet go. Those things are moving. Oh my gosh. I'm so adorable. I love it. Okay, I need to be a bigger duck though, because wow, the world is massive when you're this tiny. <laughs> Look at those feet go. He can kick with the best of them. He's like, he's like Sonic. He's like going Sonic speeds in the water. Oh wow, he walks pretty fast too when you sprint. Oh no, 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 no. Oh. It, it accidentally targeted the other duck. Oh, I got a, I got another duck following me. I'm leading the ducklings. Come on, let's go back to mom. Come on, everybody. Back to mom. All right, and then I'm gonna pos whoop. I didn't possess mom. I, I think they got too close to me, and that's what keeps happening. So it uh it like locked onto them as the uh, subject of my possession. It's a really dark way of putting it in this seemingly happy game, but hey, why not? Let's grab this mushroom if I can. And then... Oh, come on, flap. Flap, damn you. There we go. Examine. Hey, I found my fourth mushroom. I'm gonna be competing with Mario in no time. Anything over there? Now I'm kind of curious about this zone. What's, what's going on over here? What do we got, eh? Oh, okay, that, that leads, like, way up there. Alright, well, uh, I think this is a, probably a pretty good spot to go ahead and end the first episode off. And we'll see if every episode we can find a beautiful view to end the episode on. Let's get a, let's get a good picture, good selfie here. There we go, maybe, maybe that'll be the thumbnail for the video? I don't know, but I hope you have enjoyed our first episode of Lost Ember. 
and I will see you next time.